thank you, Lord, for gathering us in our midst and um, in your midst. We long, Lord, that your presence will be here more than anything else. You're the one person whose presence matters. Be exalted. Lord, we sing to you. We exalt your name. Salvation belongs to our God. Sing it to him. Who sits? Who sits upon the throne? And unto the land. and glory, wisdom and thanks, honor and power and strength, be to our God forever and ever, be to our God forever and ever, be to our God. from 
be empty too. Here's a voice speaking, calling her name. It's the Master, the Lord, raised to life again. The voice that spans the years, speaking life, stirring hope, bringing peace to us. Will sound till he appears, for he lives. Christ is risen from the dead. The voice that spans the years, speaking life, stirring hope, bringing peace to us. Will sound till he appears, for he lives. Christ is risen from the dead. One with the Father, ancient of days, through the Spirit who closed faith with certainty. Honor and blessing, glory and praise to the King, crowned with power and authority. And we are raised with Him. Death is dead, love has won. Christ has oh, praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we shall reign with Him. For he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. And we shall raise with him, death is dead, love has won, Christ has conquered. And we shall reign with him, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. And we shall reign with him, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. fear of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of the past. For I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I'm free. Praise the Lord. Free. Let's sing that chorus again. If you know it, sing to him and give him thanks. I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of the past. For I traded my shackles for a glorious song. I'm free. Praise the Lord, free at last. So long I had searched for life's meaning, enslaved by the world and my dream. Then the door of the prison was opened by love for the rest. Was paid, I was free. Oh, are you free? I'm free from the fear of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of the past. I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. guilt that I carry no more from the dill empty life I'm set free for when I met Jesus he made me complete he forgot the foolish one I used to be I'm free from the fear of tomorrow, I'm free from the guilt of the past, for I've traded my shackles for a glorious 
song. I'm free. Praise the Lord. Free at last. I'm free from the fear of spirit of praise and a spirit of prayer oh what wonderful freedom let's never take it for granted he's taken away our shackles and given us a glorious song that's the reason we sing it's not that we can sound good or even feel good but to give him praise that he is pleased by our singing he is takes pleasure in the sacrifice of our lips before we pray let's sing this old hymn I need thee Oh, I need Thee. If you've been able to make it this week, even for one minute, without needing Him, and you haven't really come to know Him and the power of His Spirit, and the life you're living is an earthly life, let's examine our hearts, brothers and sisters, as we come to the altar this morning, as we lay ourselves afresh at His feet and say, Lord, all my life is Yours. And that means I don't want to spend even one minute. I don't want to live for myself even one minute. I don't want to try to live the life you want me to live on my own strength, even one minute. Fill me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit so that every minute of every day is yours and uh, from you and through you and to you for your glory. Oh, I need you every minute, every second. I need the oh, I need the every hour I need. Bless me now, my Savior. I come to you. Let's sing that verse again. I need thee. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to you. This is the blessing we see presence I need the every hour most gracious Lord no tender voice like thine can peace afford I need the oh I need the every hour I need now my Savior I come to Thee I need Thee every hour stay Thou nearby temptations lose their power when Thou hast the cure I need Thee oh I need
Lord, we come to you and we express the reality of what we just prayed and we sang. We need thee, Lord, and I pray that it won't just be something we sing and feel good about or, or profess even now, but don't live out. We long for your life, Lord. We long, Lord Jesus, to follow you who said that you can do nothing on your own initiative, but only as you see the Father and hear from the Father. Lead us that way. You said we could come to you and take your yoke upon us and learn from you. Because you're meek and gentle in heart. We would find rest for our souls. Lead us into this rest, Lord. Yes, Lord. This is the promised land you've promised for us. A life of rest in every situation. No matter what's going on around us. No matter what's going on in our body. What's going on in our souls. How we feel emotionally. Or how we don't feel. Uh, what's going on in the world around us, Lord. What's going on in our job sites or in the home situation or with our children. Lord, you promised us a life of rest. And we come to you. And believe that you will give it to us, Lord. You said we would find rest. So we lay aside all our own agendas, Lord, our ideas of how we can be useful for you with this and that. We ask you to lead us, Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to lead us step by step. You said that we would hear a, a, a voice in our ear saying, this is the way, walk in it. When we're not sure whether to turn to the right or to the left. You would lead us, Lord. And so lead us. And guide us, Lord, and be fill us, Lord, with your Holy Spirit that, that truly gives us this revelation of Jesus. I pray that each of us will be witnesses of your majesty, Lord Jesus, this week afresh. That we'll have that testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy, in our lives, on our lips, to encourage our spouses, to encourage our children, to be witnesses in our workplace, with our co-workers, with our neighbors, with people we meet in the grocery store. Lord, anoint our lips. We come to you, Lord, where we have sinful, unclean lips, Lord. So often we use them carelessly with the things of this world. Touch our lips and cleanse them, Lord, like you did even for Isaiah. And you touched his lips and you sent him out, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you long to do that even greater for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You set us a perfect example that we can follow in your way. We praise you and exalt you, Lord. We acknowledge that you alone are worthy of all glory and honor and praise. We want you to have the first place and the only place in everything. That you might be preeminent, Lord. That you would shine so brightly that the things of this earth grow dim. And dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Everything that glitters in this world, all the money and the fame and the popularity and the uh, everything of mammon fades away, Lord, because we've seen you. We've seen the Lord, the risen Lord. Lord, do that, we pray. We exalt you and praise you. Be more lifted up in our eyes today than you've ever been yet, Lord. We know you want to do that. You're greater than we've ever seen. You're greater than we've ever imagined. And we want to see you more. And your Holy Spirit who searches the hearts of our, our hearts, Lord, will reveal them to us. Things that eye has not seen or ear has not heard or has even entered into the heart of man. You, through the Holy Spirit, will reveal to us. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for lead, leading us through the Holy Spirit into the life of liberty that we speak, we sang about. We're free at last, Lord. We don't have to carry around the shackles or the guilt. The devil wants us to remember the guilt, but we don't carry that at all, at all anymore. No condemnation, no discouragement. Lord Jesus, lead us more into this life this week. Thank you. You are our head. You're the captain of our salvation. You sustain us. You wash us with your word. You love us and gave yourself up for us. How much more, Father, will you not give us all that we freely need, that we need freely? Thank you. You've already made a way, Lord. The way of salvation is complete. We have this hope as an anchor that is entered within the veil, and so we'll hold on to this anchor, Lord. This hope we have as an anchor. Praise you, Lord, and exalt you. Lord, we commit our needs to you because you said you want us to. You, we, you said we could. We are your children, Lord. And as a father pities his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. So we fear you, Lord, and we reverence you. And in that reverence and fear but boldness, we come to the throne of grace, asking you for help in time of need. And maybe now, Lord, for some, maybe coming in a few days or weeks, for others, no matter where, where anyone is, Lord Jesus, you know. You know that the future is in your hands. You hold the future. We know who holds the future. Thank you that we can rest in that, Lord. We can have complete rest and assurance that you hold the future, Lord, and we have believed in you. 
And you've made a way of salvation. You've predestined us to be conformed into the image of your son, Jesus. And so you're working all things together for good because we love you and you've called us according to your purpose. We pray against the work of Satan in any area, Lord, any spiritual bondage that anybody's in. In the name of Jesus, I pray you'll break those bonds. You gave us authority to bind on earth and it would be bound in heaven and to loose on this earth and it would be loosed in heaven. I pray for any who are bound in discouragement or anxiety or fear, unbelief, addictions, bad habits. Oh, Lord Jesus, come and break those bonds. I pray that any who are discouraged will have their heads lifted up this morning, Lord, by something they hear, by the reminder through your Holy Spirit that you love them, that your plan for them is just as uh, strong as it was when you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross. And you haven't given up on us while it is still living. While we're still living here on this earth, we have hope. And Lord, I pray we won't take this grace for granted, that we will live reverentially and soberly, Lord, in the short time that we have left. So Lord, come and unite marriages. I pray for every marriage here, those listening as well, Lord, and in this room, unite the hearts of husbands and wives to each other. Let there be no coldness, no distance, Lord. The, the unity that you and the Father have is the unity that you long to, for us to have in our marriages. So Lord, we will press on to perfection. We seek you, Lord, for that. This is a, a supernatural work, Lord, of uniting between husbands and wives that only you can do. You're the one that brought us together, Lord, and you're for our marriages. We believe it. You're for our homes. You're for our children, Lord, that not one of them would perish, but that every single one of them will come to know you personally and not just say a prayer, Lord, but walk with you and learn the joy and satisfaction that comes from walking with you. Lord, I pray that you'll preserve our children, Lord, as they grow up. Watch over them, protect them from the attacks of Satan, protect their bodies, heal them, Lord. But above all, I pray that you will lead them in the life that you have for them. Help them to see that the life you've planned is the best possible life. It's a life of joy. It's a life of peace. It's a life of love. It's a life of rest. Thank you. Thank you. You will do that. I pray that we will give us grace to be godly examples to them, that they won't see any half-heartedness. They won't see hypocrisy. They'll see that when we say we're committed to you and we're putting your kingdom first, we're actually living it out, that your kingdom and you are what captivate our thoughts and our ambitions and our goals. We're not interested in the things of this world. We're not interested in more money or advancing in our careers, Lord, above you and your kingdom. And to be useful for you in the church, Lord, use us. We give ourselves to you. We believe we'll do that. Help us to be worshipers of you, to find our contentment in you alone so that we can serve you. We praise you, Lord, that you will do that for us. Every spiritual stronghold you'll take down. No weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. We will take down the gates of hell. Lead us, Lord, to wherever those gates of hell are. And you, we believe that we will uh, triumph over them. They shall not prevail against us. You promised it, Lord. Thank you. We commit our material and physical needs as well to you. Pray for many who are sick, some who struggle with constant sickness or pain in their body and other diseases, others who may be sick today, Lord, and couldn't be here. I pray you'll touch them. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands on them, Lord Jesus, as you did to any who came to you. And when they asked you if you are willing, you said, I am willing. You are willing, Lord Jesus. And we don't know how you'll answer it. We don't put a timeline on you, but we commit our lives to you and ask you to touch our bodies and heal us, Lord, especially for the children in our midst who suffer often in pain and different forms of struggle and even the adults, Lord, constant uh, uh, suffering in their body. Lord Jesus, we know, we, we trust you completely, Lord. There's no complaint in our mouth. There's no grumbling. We're content with how you've chosen to lead us this far. You've done all things well. You've done all things well, Lord. We proclaim it. And still we ask you, Lord, believing in faith, that you're a God who loves and you heal. You're healing just as much today as you did when you walked on this earth. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever, Lord. And if it is your will, we say not our will, but yours be done, Lord. Do what's best for your kingdom. Do what's best to conform us into the image of Jesus, Lord. And if you allow a thorn in our flesh, we accept it, Lord, because we know we were guaranteed grace when we're humble. So, Lord Jesus, I pray... Uh, hear our prayer. You have heard our prayer. We come to you in humility and lowliness, Lord. Help us to go deeper down in humility, more lowly in our thoughts. Thinking of others is more important than ourselves. <clears throat> Thank you that you set this way for us. You went lower and humbled yourself more than anybody else did. And you set us a wonderful example to follow. Our material needs, financial needs, job situations, Lord, we, we commit them to you. You clothe the lilies. You feed the sparrows, Lord. How much more we who are your children? You've got the future. You will provide for us, Lord. You will never allow us to go hungry when we trust in you. That no matter how bleak it seems, no matter how uncertain it seems, Lord Jesus, help us not to fix our hope in the uncertain riches of this world, but to fix our hope in you alone. Our eyes are on you. 
You are our salvation. You are our song. You are our help. You are our strength. Thank you, Lord, when we are weak, when we don't have enough, we are strong, Lord. In that place of weakness, your strength is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We rejoice in you, Lord Jesus, and thank you. You're rejoicing over us even more with shouts of joy. We praise you. We exalt you, Lord. Be glorified in our midst. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, we, we just pray that Jesus set us a, an example. We like to sing uh, a couple more songs. This one speaks about a soul who would be like a master, must heed his example and word. As we sing, I'm not going to take time to read it because we've sung it here before, but meditate. And if you must pause even from singing just to meditate on the words, the life that Jesus lived, he who, anyone who calls himself a Christian must live as Jesus lived. This is the life he sets before us. A soul who would be like the master must he Example and word. The Father's good pleasure was o'er him. Through fear were his prayers always heard. He faithfully preached heaven's kingdom. The prisoners of sin were set free. Sickness and need had to vanish when Jesus the Master passed by. When all went their way and were sleeping, teach us this way, Lord. He went to the mountains to pray. strength that he needed each day. Oh, mighty and clear was his message. Things happened just as he would say. The sea and the wind were both silent. The moment he made them not a cause from the masses, but hearts broken, contrite and weak. He taught them the way of life's wisdom, their sickness and pain he we all trust him. He will. He went for mankind with compassion. Suffered unspeakable grief. His all he did offer for sinners. His soul he poured out unto death. No judgment he made from appearance. The Spirit in He spared not relationships fond. In weakness he came to perfection. From lion a lamb he became. In silence and patience he followed. He calls us to follow. A body for me, thou preparest. A will to be offered complete. A corn of wheat made to be buried. Thy will, O oh my Father. So poor and 
so weak it was planted in power and might it arose with shame and reproach it was covered in glory majestic began the good work in you is faithful to complete it by the love of God that is shed abroad in our hearts through Christ Jesus through the Holy Spirit oh, that will not let me go I rest my weary soul in thee I give thee back the life I own Torch to thee, I heart restores his borrowed ray that in thy sunshine's blazes day may brighter, fairer be. Oh, joy. Seekest me through pain, I cannot close my heart to thee. I trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promises not made that morn shall. Stop my head, I dare not ask to fly from thee, I lay in dust life's glory dead, and from the ground there blossoms red, thy fat shall Is up my head. I dare not ask to fly from thee. I lay in dust life's glory dead. And from the death there blossoms red. Life that shall Unshakable life. Jesus said, except a grain of wheat fall into the ground and die, it remains alone. But oh, if it die, if it does die, it shall bear much fruit. Lord, bring that forth, that fruit forth from our lives. We pray in Jesus' name.